Hey guys, today we're gonna be talking about the Mercedes S550. We're gonna do some repair on the command center. Um, if that doesn't work, so here's the car that we're gonna be working on, the 2008 Mercedes-Benz S550. A couple days ago, I had replaced this, this one right here, the main fuse box under the hood. The reason why I did that was because my car lift didn't work and my ESP light came on but my command center this wasn't working before okay um, when it comes to controlling the the seats and all that stuff it wasn't working before and let me show you guys <clears throat> so I hope the radio doesn't come on again because the last time it came on YouTube had uh, said something about copyright, so I couldn't have any kind of music. Turn that off, okay. Shut up already, okay. So the command center is right here, right? The console, the, the command console right here. So this button right here, now it, it works. See that? It works on the doors and all the stuff, as you can see up there. Turn your button and you can see it move. So mine wasn't working before. I'm talking about like maybe, uh, shoot, it's been going on for like about two years and I really didn't spend that much time trying to fix this until I had uh, um, swap out the fuse box that's right under the hood for the ESP and the car lift. And I had thought that, you know what, since that's happening up in the front, that um, the fuse box under the hood, let me try to do the one in the back, maybe that will solve this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's happening with mine. But again, I had already installed the new fuse box already um, in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one back out and put the old one back in and show you guys what it was happening, what it was doing. And then I'll put the new one back in, okay? So here, I'm gonna show you guys right now that my command center is working. My command uh, control right here. So. Hope you guys can see that I'm trying to catch them at the same time the screen. So if I'm turning, you can see the, the screen on top, it's moving. Okay. And if I go to navigation, take me to navigation. Uh, I could go full screen. Um, I could go to audio. See. Oh, come on, dude. I don't want that song. Ending. It can also be very rewarding. Summoning the best it's of my, our humanity. My volume's working too. Goes up and down. Um, I go down to the sound. Right there, the sound. I could control the you know the, the bass and the, the fader, the tremble, all that stuff. So the vehicle. Um, see, it, it it's all working now. That's working. And my, if I go with custom, so this is the transmission, right? You got custom and you got sports. So if I press this button, see that right there, it, it's gonna change. Uh, I don't know if you see it there. So if I press this button right here, uh, I'm trying to catch at the same time. See here, like that. See, now it works. So let's just get started. Turn off the car, but. For this part of the video, I do recommend disconnecting the battery. Um, to do that, you're gonna need a number 10, uh, number 10 socket, okay? So you wanna disconnect the one from the hood. Might as well do both. The, the, one, the one battery under the hood here, disconnect this one. Just the negative. Okay, there you go, put the negative down there somewhere. And then the one in the trunk, which is the housing battery. This one. So, same, number 10. Just go ahead and disconnect this battery. There, I just let it sit. Now, you're going to have a problem with removing this. That guy right there. It's, it's like a frame that... You kind of hold that back in 
uh, because in your Mercedes, you, you're supposed to have like that back piece right there and this frame here kind of supports it. It's whatever they call it. I'm gonna call it the the rear uh, trunk support. To take this off or here, you gotta, you're gonna have to remove all these these uh, clips right here. Um, this push up, it, they're past the clips, but they're kind of a pain in the butt to remove, okay? They go right up in here. There's like maybe five of them. Um, so there's that one that goes up, that goes up in there. You see like the hole for the speaker, the subwoofer. But anyhow, I just want to show you guys real quick that this clip goes in here and this is what holds up this uh, trim piece under the trunk, but on top. And you're gonna need some kind of tool that is gonna be able to make it easier for you guys to pry. This is something that I had uh, purchased from Amazon. This came with like a kit. Um, it's like a pry bar for these plastic clip, for these plastic, uh, whatever you wanna call it. I have brain farts right now. But just get something that you're gonna be able to take this out. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So anyhow, let me show you. Okay, so in my other video, that was the old unit. This one here came from the hood. So this is from under the hood. So this is the old one that was bad. I had replaced already. And so I'm just gonna put that aside. The one that we're talking about, the one for inside the trunk is the back, okay? This is for the back. It's almost like the same thing in the front. See, you got the front and you got the one in the trunk. Like that, okay. Um, it's, the one in the back has this computer too. The one in the front has the same thing like this. I mean, not identically the same with the same plug and stuff, but it is the same, uh, same computer. Like the other one that this does come out too, so. With that being said, let me try to pop this one out. Okay, it's just so hard. Let me try to do this on the phone, so I'm gonna hopefully you guys can see. There's just this this little um, push thing right here. Right there. Just get something. Push it down. This worked for me. Just push that down. Once that pushed down, then you could actually slide this side out like that. See, and then turn it over. Um, same thing. There's two buttons here. I recommend you guys using like a flathead screwdriver instead of uh, this. So, oh, oh my goodness. Again, let me. And the other one pop back in. So there. Right there. The one under the hood, the fuse box, uh, has has the same kind of computer. Right here. So this is the one under the hood. It has the same places like a slot for it, but this won't fit that. Now what you want to do is you want to separate these two. Now before I do continue, before I begin, what I want to show you guys is um, that this is the old one, okay? So what I want to do is I want to mark it. I'll mark it here. Uh, I'll put today's date so that way uh, today's uh, January, I think I believe today's the 20th. Oh my God. Yeah, today's the 20th, 2022, okay? So this is the old one. This is for today's date, so I'll put one. Oh my God, you can't see there. But you know, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of mark this guy with X. With X. This is the old one. And here, I'll mark an X right there. I'm sure you guys can see that. I'll still put today's date on uh, 1, 20, 22. Okay, so this is the 
this to open. So with the new one that I have bought from eBay, this guy right here I bought from eBay. So this is the actual uh, uh, a new used one. So it came in. I ordered this from eBay. I, I got it like this, exactly like this. Uh, I'm sorry, not this one. That one right there. I ordered that one from eBay for thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars. It came with the top and the bottom piece. Okay. Um, I didn't have to do that much to it except to just slap it in. So. <sighs> Let's go ahead and start with this, but make sure you guys disconnect that battery. So what you're gonna need is like a number 10 and then this star bit, okay. So you have that screw right there and that screw right there to move. Yeah, that, those screws gonna pretty much fall. And then take this out too. It's, it's gonna be a lot easier if you guys remove this hand over here. So that's a number 10. Okay. Just let it fall. If it does fall. Because if you want something to fall, it doesn't want to fall. But you don't want it to fall, it's gonna fall. So just remove that. So you can step back. That right there. Okay. Um, again, that's the new one, the new used one I bought from eBay, uh, $35, and there's the old one, okay. This is one that I was having a problem with, this old one here, so that old one's right there, that new one's already in there, and that showed you guys that my command center was working. One thing called command center or command control. And then once you once you have those two screws moved, you just want to kind of you know pull this out a little bit. It, it does come out. Um it, the first time I tried to take this out right here, it, it was kind of hard, but if you kind of you know give it a little bit of force, give it a little pull, um it seemed to be like stuck in there. But after you when you give it a little tug, uh, it does come out. Um I think it's because it has never been pulled out before. So, so once I did take it out, it was easy. So this this is what you want to do. You kind of want to pull it out, let it clear the top here, these fuses right here, and it just kind of lay it down like this, like that. If you lay it down, then you can actually come here and work with all these wires here that you're gonna have to unplug. So, you're gonna have to get under the trunk like me. I'm a little guy. So, I'm able to maneuver around here. I don't know if you guys wanna kinda like remove this whole thing right here and try to go from the top in, or you can remove the battery. If you remove the housing battery, you might be able to get your hand through there. Um, I'm, I don't have to do that because I'm able to do it like this, so. Um, so here's that, this, red clip right here you're gonna have to pop this the first time that you guys try to pop this in the back it's gonna be really hard because it has not been broken up before um so I, I i did this earlier so it was not too hard for me to you know snap it open but for your car it might be hard because it, like i said it's been closed for so many years and now once you have this thing lifted you want to just slide this how wire out just wiggle it and slide it out it does come out like that but you know there's no power of course because we disconnected both of the batteries and now there's one right here and there's one on top there's two of these main um main power line oh, oh there you go pop that one up and then wiggle this one out too okay. like so right there and these fuses right here, uh, what you want to do is you want to push the bottom down. Oh, let me grab my tool. This guy right here, 
So these one that clips on the side right here, they're color coded, you know. Um, don't worry about them. So you want to just push that down and you wiggle this up. Let me put the phone down here. Hopefully you guys can see. Okay. That should be good. So like that. And just just a clip that clips the back. right there you have to push that down because it clips to um, this it locks with this piece right here at the very top so just do this to like, that one and I've broken this one right here but it didn't do any uh, thing to how the fuse holds in there it's still secure even though I just broke that little uh, flange so right there and then here once you remove this right um, you can't just kind of shove it in here because there's like a little um, safety thing in the back and to remove that there's this piece right right here I don't know if you can see it it's this one piece it's like a plastic piece that goes straight up so it's right here. You push this down. It's like a clip. Oh. oh my goodness. Push it down. You can actually move it there. There. So right there. See that? I don't know if you guys were able to see that when I did it. It is kind of a tight spot for me to even get my camera in here. But anyhow, once you have that removed, you can push this guy, uh, push these fuses to the back, and just bring it out. Bring that one out. Okay. Okay. So then, what you want to do next is, um, there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me go. Oh, a little bit. And that's what it looks like okay that's with that piece uh with that fuse box laying flat now oh 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 my god ah, this tools it, it is a tight spot so anyhow once you have this thing lay on its back or whatever um you want to start unplugging these wires okay we'll start with this one and then these um you have to press this down and then push that Push it all the way down and it should come up. There, that one. For the next one, push that down and move it all the way down. Push this all the way down and pull it up. Yeah. And this one's next. Just grab this. On the side here, you have to squeeze. Move that out of the way. This one too. Squeeze on the side. Pull out. This one squeeze. Pull out. This one. It's not um, that hard, but what took a lot of time for me was you get this panel out here that that covers this whole this black cover. Um, once you have that removed, then getting this box out this way. The way I'm doing it is not that hard. There. There. Let's move this up. Okay. So, here's the one that I had bought from eBay. Okay. You want to buy from eBay? The one that was original. So, that's the date I wrote earlier and that. So, with this, I'm going to write on the one I bought from eBay here. I'm gonna write eBay. Okay, so, there. And I write eBay. There. So. So, there you go. Okay. 
okay so old one ebay one uh, of course that's with the old one so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put this guy back to the car and show you guys what the old one did okay Again, this is the, the old one. There. Uh, hope you guys can see that. Put this guy's right. Put that guy right there. Oh, I gotta get back into the bat cave. Oh. New one. Old one, new one, old one. Okay, so to reinstall it, you just gotta repeat the same process. Lay this thing flat down, okay, like so. And close, the wire brings as close as you can so the wire can reach. Um, start with the bottom one, start with the bottom brain, okay, which is these wires there, the one that has these, um, these clips that you can raise up and down um, with the gray uh, strap on the side or just do whichever wire you want to do first but I recommend doing the bottom um, part of the computer because that's going to be very hard if you don't do the bottom and you start doing um, the top one okay so then And it's the same as doing the front. Um, these are here. The wires, you can't really mix up the wire. They only go in one one slot. Okay, it doesn't just go into any um, plug. It's got that groove where it only, it's made for just this guy right here. This plug and it goes into this hole and that's it. Uh -oh. Make sure it snaps in, and then that snaps in, and you gotta lock it with this piece. And even though after you lock it, just kind of you know, give it a little bit of pressure and push it down just to double check. So, so all the one that has the, the gray um, side right here that goes to the bottom. So, I'll push that down. So, push that down. I'm gonna show it again. It down. This thing will pop up again. Lock it. I just double check it. So once that's done, that the bottom is done now. See, uh, I got all the plug in for the bottom now. Start doing the top. Um, all of these right here, you do last. All the fuses that is um, it has the extended wire right here. Do the do these last. There's like maybe six of them. Um, And make sure you double check that you got all the plugs uh, plugged in. So again, there's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, a total of six of these. Um, fuses hanging, and now once you get and then there's that one piece, remember that one? Uh, so you gotta snap and pull that so this way you can squeeze. What you want to do is you want to push it's the yellow one. See, it's all color coded, so you got the blue and the yellow. Um, there's two yellow, but you could put these yellow one i guess just about anywhere um i didn't do anything when i you know put the yellow one because 
either I put the yellow one here because there's two yellow one too I two yellow I put one here and then the other yellow ones right here there so it didn't matter where which one that yellow one went when I did it it didn't matter and it still works so I know um, this one a yellow one I guess would you do the longest yellow okay the yellow that has the longest uh, pigtail or longest uh, slack to work with so the yellow one goes to there and the blue one because there's no other like a uh, sky blue um, marking here um, there's only one sky blue which is that one the other guy is dark like blue and the other one is kind of like turquoise it's blue so once you get that in these two you want to snap this piece back in that, that little piece and it's kind of locked it, it's prevent these fuses from sliding back so now that I got all the wires uh, in here the only thing I have left to do are these um, right here the two main power supply so again these are here remember that I know it's kind of hard but it goes towards the back at the very back bottom so this slides at the bottom not the top hold on I'm doing this I'll take this wall. Okay, is this one or that one? I'll put some meat in it too, whatever one you pick. I'll take this one. This one? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Okay, so... Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was the wife trying to cook me something. But yeah, you better, you better make me something to eat. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna slap you. I'm gonna pimp slap your ass. Just kidding. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to delete that part. <laughs> okay, so so this goes on the bottom, okay? At the very bottom of the groove. That, make sure this flat piece right here, this part, right there like that, goes like right here. At the very bottom. And you can tell, I mean, you'll see it. Once it's in there, it doesn't really, it can't go anywhere. Uh, unless you yank it out like why I did, like a dumbass. Okay, so then push this in. Uh, push that in all the way until it kind of make sure that's lifted. Yeah, see, once it's it's in, it'll kind of snap in there and and and, and want to stay like that. See, it, it, it snaps in and then just pushes down. So then you do the same for this one right here, which is the one on my left. Um, same thing put it all the way at the very bottom slot um, then slide it in like that right there okay slide it in it will snap in there and then push that and then what you have left now like these fuses i would i recommend you guys doing it now because you if you used to stand this up there's a chance of this fuse thing could fall right behind it so do it now if you do it now better so the these has a groove right here and it slides right onto a track right there so you know be careful when you put it back in that they do slide um into the groove the track so the yellow yellow and then the white the white right here and then the gray uh, I had a black one there's six of them uh, for me there's six for your car uh, you don't know if there's more than six but I got one two three four five I'm missing a black one I don't have six It's color coded, so you really can't go wrong. So, one, one, two, three, four, five. The other one, six, right here. So this one is uh, like a gray, grayish color. Right there, and then yellow. Blue. Yeah. That's uh, what it looks like right 
there, okay? See it? Now, to put it back uh, into its slot, so just pick it up, stand it up now, and slide it into that track right there. It has a flange on the side. So, you slide it in, like that, and put, and put the screws back in. These screws, oh, I should, one of my screws fell in there. But I'm not going to uh, screw that in because I'm done with that. I'm gonna show you guys now what the old one was doing. So I'm not gonna screw this in because I have to take this out again. So put the battery back in for me. The battery goes back in, tighten the battery. on the engine compartment under the hood I mean. tighten this okay that's good enough for me now Got everything torn apart right there. That's the one that I was talking about. That is framed thing I had to paint the button. So here we go. Key. So, up the nearly two trillion dollar social spending plan stalled in the Senate. So, say, um, oh my God. Is an interesting word. That's where I left off. So now, oh wow. This is weird. It's working again. Hey, okay, that's crazy. Earlier, it was not even working at all. So maybe I had moved something back there. Okay, so let's... Try. It seems to be fine now, which is great. Look at that. That's awesome. This was not working um, for a long time. Um, now it does, but you know what? It's uh, it's actually good and bad in a way. So I'm gonna explain why it, it, it's actually kind of good and bad in a way. <clears throat> um, before I would have never known or try to go back there and try to mess with that box back there or computer back there. Okay. I would have like tried to take this into the Mercedes dealership and try to have them uh, reprogram my command uh, center and you know thinking maybe it was a hardware issue or something like that. Um, I tried to check all the fuses back there too before and the one on uh, under the hood. Uh, it didn't do anything. I couldn't find uh, the issue, the problem. I tried to troubleshoot this thing so many times, but uh, now that I got the new box, I put it in there and it worked. And I took it out, put the old one back in there, and now it still worked. So this is to um, prove to um, you guys that, um, no, th well, this is to share with you guys that if your command center doesn't want to work, it has something to do with that box back there, okay? That fuse box in the uh, in the back trunk. Uh, it's nowhere else. So if you guys have this problem, 
um, like me, I've had the problem and I just don't know what it was, what caused it. I tried to do all kind of stuff back there before. I just never had a chance to take that out by taking all that bracket out and all that stuff. So by me doing that, unplugging it and plugging it back in and moving that old uh, box back out, maybe it, it shook something in there. But in my next video, I'm gonna open that up. Okay, I'm gonna open the, uh, the old one back up, uh, the old uh, box like I did with my other video when I did the front. So I'm gonna open that up and see if there was anything that was damaged to the to the prong that you know connects the fuses and the relay together. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do. Um, right now it works. That's crazy, look. Right now it works. Before it was not working and I had disconnect the battery, I had done all kinds of stuff. This is great. Um, it kind of make me, it kind of made me look, you know, bad and stupid. Kind of make me look like, hey, you know, um, uh, this guy's full of crap. But um, that's exactly what's happening, guys. Uh, I'm not making this up. It wasn't working before, and like I said, by me tearing the old one out and putting it back in, maybe it shook something. Maybe it reset something. It made some kind of uh, connection. It made a better connection. Whatever it is. Uh, the old one seems to work and if you guys don't want to buy a new used box for that one back there and you guys are having the same problem like what I've had before where it doesn't work try to take that box out and mess with it and look at it um, because I'll tell you what I have I have one through here right here this is where you access that back uh, fuse and with the amount of space that we have to work with back here And you guys know what I'm talking about. The amount of space that we have, see that, to work back here, you know, to access the relay here, the fuse, and you, I mean, you can't really open it from here because there's not enough room for you to do anything here. It's just like right there. And so I came here, I did a test, I did all kinds of stuff, right, from right here, and it was just no, uh, with no success. But going through the trunk here, it, it's probably going to be a way better, uh, you know, way to go on trying to take that out and look at it and repair it. So bring that out right there, the whole box. So I ended up buying this one. But I'm going to go ahead and put this one uh, in there, the one I got from eBay and not that one because I've had problems with that one before. So, and then I'm going to open that up and let you guys see. Mm. It seems to be working fine, but anyhow, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swap that one back in and then um, go from there and I'm gonna open that. But here, there you are, guys. If your command center drive wasn't working like mine, do that, okay? Mess with that box, uh, swap it, just swap it, swap it like that. Just get a, a new used one that's better and then it will work. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited and happy to know that mine's working now. I'm really excited that mine's working because it has not worked for me for so long and I couldn't even like uh, control my seat. You know, I couldn't do this. Uh, I couldn't change the the transmission set from sport to comfort. I wasn't able to change that at all. Now when I press this, I, I don't know if you guys can hear that air pump rising or, or dropping. For comfort, it picks up. For sport, it lowers it. And the yes, the vehicle rising a button works. The ESP works. Okay. So check out my other video on um, how to fix that ESP and the uh, airlift if yours is not working. It's in my other video for the same vehicle. But for now, uh, that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and share this with you guys. Um, again, I am new to this YouTube video thing on making a video and, and, and posting it up and sharing with you guys on um, the problems that I have with my car and how I fix it. Uh, I'm, I'm really new to this. This is going to be my fourth or fifth video and it might be long. It might not make sense, but uh, uh, shoot me a comment if you guys think that I could do something different or uh, with my, you know, the way that I record if 
uh, it's good enough or whatnot, okay? But anyhow, I'm taking too much of, of your guys' time in this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and post this. All right, thanks for uh, <clears throat> checking this out. Okay, bye.